Welcome to this video on creating publication quality plots for scientific documents. I'll be covering the workflow that I use, uh, which involves creating schematics in Inkscape or PowerPoint, plotting data with the matplotlib, and attaching the plots to a document in Overleaf. Uh, while this isn't the only way to create professional looking plots, it's a method that has worked well for me and maybe be helpful for others as well. So let's get started. Overleaf is an online platform for creating and collaborating on scientific documents. Uh, in this video, we will be using Overleaf to attach our final plot or image to our document. Before we start creating our plots or images, it's important to know the text width of our Overleaf document. So the text width is the maximum width that our plot or image can be, and it's typically specified in pixels or points. So let's create one empty project. So you can create one by going to new project and press example project, name your project, whatever you want. I have already created one called plots here. So I'll be opening that. So once you render this, once you recompile, you'd get uh, the document here. And the whole length which hosts the text is the text width. Now you cannot have your image larger than the text width here, else when it's cropping or rescaling, your proportion of the image would get distorted. And uh, there might be some documents where you have two columns instead of one. So in that case, you might want to have your image fit well within your length of your columns. So in that case, you, in that case, you might need to have a different text width, like half of the whole document. So after creating the example project to determine the text width of your document, you can follow these steps. What you need to do is include this package called layout and somewhere inside the document you need to include this line backward slash layout and press ctrl s to recompile it once more after doing that find a text width somewhere so in this case it's 443 points now what you need to do is change this to inches uh, a Rough way of doing that is just divide this number by 72. So if we do that, 443 by 72. So it's 6.15. So note down this number. So this is in inches. So the text width of a document is 6 inch. And after doing that, you can comment the layout thing because you do not need it anymore so once you know the size of your document the text width you know that the maximum size of your image is going to be that so you can use this information to select appropriate font size like tick mark intervals marker thicknesses and line widths so this ensures that your plots are clear and easy to read with this information in hand, you are ready to start creating your own plots and images. And we will go through that right now. I have opened up a Inkscape document here, just a sample, a simple schematic, which we'll be exporting from Inkscape to our Overleaf document. So Inkscape is a free open source vector graphics editor. So you can use it to make basic graphs, charts, like schematics for your documents. And if you want to include math equations, you might find it helpful to install te text, which I have already installed, tech text. So for more details, check out the description below. 
So the extension is not absolutely necessary, but it can make it easier to include math equations in your schematics. So before we begin creating any plots, what you should do is uh, check the size of the canvas of this Inkscape document. This is because we want to make sure that our plots and images will fit well within the text of the overleaf document. So which was about six inches. To check the canvas size, go to File, Document Properties. And what I prefer is to set units to inches. So you'd see it's starting from, so in this ruler, you'd say the actual inches for your canvas document. So you see this is eight, about eight inches. And the schematic here is about three inches. So it fits well within this six inch limit, right? Now to add the LaTeX equations, let me show you how we can add it. Go to tag. So after installing this tech text extension. So let's say we want to add some equation there. It's, let's say there's a gradient of temperature in the field. So you can look at the preview. Okay, we're good with it. Let's save this. So you can see yeah, there's this render. After doing this, this group each and everything together group. And once you do that, there's a couple of way you can export this. Let's say you are happy with what you have and you have grouped your emails as well. This will allow us to treat the equation and the canvas as a single object when we export it. So finally, it's time to export this image into a, a file or to attach it to a document. So the formats that we can export it to include PNG, PDF, or EPS. PNG is a raster image format that is commonly used for images in web. PDF is a better format. It's a vector image format that preserves the edges. So let's use the PDF format here. But the problem with PDF format in Inkscape is that it exports the entire document or the entire canvas. But we do not want all of it. We just want this portion only, right? So to do that, we need to shrink our size, shrink the size of our document. Uh, you can do that by going to File, Document Properties, and set a sort of a margin on all top, right, bottom, and left, and resize your drawing canvas. So after doing that, you see our entire document is just as big as the image that we want to export. Uh, after this, we are good to export. So to export, go to File, Save As, and select a PDF format here. And name your document appropriately. It would ask your details about what you want. Let's increase the DPI to 120. That's it. We have exported our document. Now we can attach this to the overleaf document if you want. So here is the file that we have exported from Inkscape, the PDF file. Now we will look at plotting your data in Python using matplotlib and how we integrate this process.